But then, let's give you some perspective now. Tonight, we'll be breaking it down. What does this mean for the PDP? What does all of these issues mean for the APC ahead of the 2019 election? But as soon as uh, that, those defections happened on the floor of the National Assembly yesterday, well, each of the side, whichever one that you, uh, you, you're looking at now, have their own figures. But the PDP have their own figures. The APC have their own figure. There are contention of whether or not who is in the, uh, in the majority in the House. But before now, this is how it is being where we had 60 APC senators, 48 PDP senators, and one Abga senator. There's been some issues of vacancy because of the deaths of two senators, one from Bauchi and one from uh, Kassina State. But now, this is what the APC is saying about the status of the National Assembly in terms of the numbers that are currently there. That's what the APC, uh, true Senator Lawan, yesterday, when they said, look, whatever may have happened, they are still in the lead. But if you take this away, let me tell you, um, eyeball to eyeball, this is what China's television can confirm to you based on what we have found out here at China's television. We can tell you that from our own calculation, because politicians will tell you one thing, but you need to dig deeper to find out which are your own facts. So what this is what we can find out for you. We understand now that there are maybe 53 senators of the APC, uh, 50 senators of the PDP, two senators of the ADC. Remember that there was a senator who is said to have also gone to the ADC, making three yesterday, but it happened that he said he's partyless. So we have one person who is undecided on which party is, go is going to be, two senators of the ADC, and two vacant seats, Abga, one seat. So let me give you a premise. If you say you move from... Uh, and this is perhaps the convention and the National Assembly. If you move from a party A to a party B, it until you announce officially on the floor, that is not reckoned with. That's a convention. That is a practice on the floor of the National Assembly. That is what is official. Based on that, there are a lot of issues as regarding some senators who have moved from the APC to the PDP, some who have moved from the PDP to the APC, some who are still thinking about it. But the official announcement on the floor of the National Assembly that we have investigated for you, that is what I can tell you. I'll go over it again. APC 53, PDP 50, ADC 2, Partyless 1, that is the man that is undecided, Abga 1, and two, there are two vacancies. Let me show you how it is like in the lower chamber at the House of Representatives right now. So there you go. Before, this is it, 217 APC House of Reps member, 128 PDP, other parties 15. Let's look at how it is now. So APC has 192 House of Reps member, PDP 156, ADC 4, Abga 5, Accord Party 1, SDP 1, Vacant 1. So now, something will change, definitely, if power changes and along the aisle in the National Assembly, especially the Senators. There are those who call the principal officers. So if anything happens to who is in the majority, this is perhaps what can change for you. We have the Senate President who... Presently, we know that is in the APC. It's not said he's moving. Uh, the Deputy Senate President, the PDP. Then we have the Chief Whip, the Majority Leader, who are all the APC. And we have the Minority Leader and the Minority Whip of the uh, PDP. So, if anything is going to change, if PDP gets in the majority, this will totally change. Let me guess my, my guest in the studio in Abuja talking uh, on the program tonight. I have joining me uh, a chieftain of the APC and a former lawmaker, Honorable Clatus Obun, joins us on the program uh, alongside uh, Mr. Shegun Shoumi, also a chieftain of the PDP. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us on the program tonight. Uh, Honorable Obun, what does this mean for your party? It's a big loss, isn't it? You will call it a big loss, 
if you understand that it is a big blow to the democratic space in Nigeria and the development and evolution of democracy in our country. This is a national tragedy, not for APC, not for PDP, not for Buhari, not for anybody, but for our own evolving democratic principles. It is never heard anywhere, whether in Britain or U.S., where we purport to be borrowing our own system from, that you have issues with your party, as you have in the case of Trump, in the case of Obamacare. You vote against your party on the basis of that. That does not change your principle or your ideology. Therefore, what has befallen or what is seen to be befalling APC is what is befalling the development of our democracy. And therefore, as far as I'm concerned, APC is on firm footing, and you may be surprised that in the next few days, neither PDP nor APC will be dancing the Hallelujah song. What we just have here is a band of uh, migrants. This is a season of migration. 2014, exactly at this point, we saw them migrating. So if they are doing that now, it is in their nature, like migratory animals, like you have in the swallows of uh, Boje in Bokiland, which move from Italy to this thing at the time of feeding. So this is the time of feeding the pocket, right. feeding the so, political so, so, uh, Honorable Auburn, let, let's, uh, let's hear from uh, Mr. Shomumi. Mr. Shomumi, for your party, the PDP, is it a time to rejoice? Well, I think that um, the first and most important thing I want to say is that political parties must be run in such a way that you can hold the confidence of your members. Once you are not able to hold their confidence, once you've acted in a manner that they no longer feel safe around your party, it is human nature to try to self-survive. And they can only go to a place where they think that they will be better treated, where there is a, there's, there, there's a reputation of at least some element of fairness, element of inclusiveness, and element of transparency in the processes. And therefore, for the People's Democratic Party of Nigeria, we are a party that is open, we are a party that is accessible. If people want to come into our party, obviously a political party can't drive them out. You can't tell them they're not welcome, especially high network people that are coming. And uh, certainly, I'm sure that any politician worth his salt will know that the loss of one important electable who has ever won an election is a loss for a party because you're going to have to pay for it in its constituency one way or the other. So for the PDP, we welcome them. We're happy that we're a party that is robust enough that can accommodate them. And our institutions are strong enough that can also keep them in check so that they can come in there and just obey the rules and regulations of the party. But the place is accommodating and open enough to be able to take their individuality. We make boast to say that PDP is the only truly national democratic institution in Nigeria, and therefore we're not surprised that a good number of them are coming back to the PDP. Uh, uh, all right, Mr. Shawumi, let me pause you for a second, because we need to go on this break. Uh, well, a lot of Nigerians know that this is all what is happening is, uh, is uh, inside of 2019. When we come back from this break, we will be talking about what this means for 2019, Plus one senator whose name was mistakenly put on the defector's list of talking to channels television. You will hear him after this break. <laughs>